one of our philosophies is that we build people and we just use latches to do that. The one thing that I really love about GSI is the fact that we support Second Chance Ministries. I got out of rehab and was looking for a job and he said, well, well go down here and check out this place because I was living in Sherwood at the time. So I came down and applied and uh, got on. GSI just really believes in people and being a second chance ministry reflects that. It's awesome because I get to watch this company grow and I've never seen something grow so quickly. I'd been looking for work for a while. I was diagnosed with cancer in 2011 and they still hired me. I don't know where I would be if it wasn't for GSI right now. I was in the military, I had a chance to meet my father that I didn't know. So I was 30 years old and I met my father. And it turns out that my grandfather and I had a lot in common in the sense that he was in the military, in the Air Force, he's a pilot, he was an engineer. GSI was founded by my grandfather in 1958. Uh, originally doing wing spars and bulkheads and then into the latch business that we do now. We continue to develop the relationship with my, my grandmother who was living at the time my grandfather passed and we decided that uh, we were going to take our savings and invest in an aerospace manufacturing company, this company. We thought that you could only minister at church. You know, we thought, well, how do we minister as business owners? We, we don't. We go to church and we become, you know, Bible study teachers and deacons, and that's kind of separate. Um, and then God just really convicted us that it wasn't separate because we were so torn. We felt like, you know, we really liked what we did here. We felt like God had wired us for this, but we wanted to serve God. We began to work with the Union Rescue Mission in the Dorcas House, which is, they have a men and women's recovery program, a homeless shelter, and a battered women and children's shelter. We're raising money for the homeless shelters. That's right. That's and it's right. awesome. This company's not just about making money, but it's also about caring about other people. I just feel really fortunate to, uh, to work for a company that's willing to come down here and do something like this. I'm a prime example of someone who's been given a second chance here at GSI. Very happy to be working here and look forward to working with GSI far into the future. GSI is different from other companies because we are faith-based. I mean, we believe in God first and foremost, and that shows in all what the employees do and how they treat each other. At any moment, we can just be ourselves and live how we're supposed to live and not live one way at work and one way at home. We can be ourselves here. We go to this conference um, every year, and it's called Right Now and it talked about what can, you know, it's kind of like, what can you do right now? I know that we provide a Christian environment, but what else can we do? And I came in and I noticed that there was a woman and she was eating crackers for lunch, just crackers. Um, and I thought, you know, I can provide a meal for her at least once a week. And so what we started doing was we started to provide uh, meals on Wednesdays and we do a Bible study. I think an effective ministry is a ministry that um, affects your community. And so by that definition, as a company, we're affecting our community. We're changing our community. We're, we're giving people jobs, we're giving them food, and we're growing, expanding, and helping others do the same thing.